sometimes your muscles feel the burn long after you finish training. Well, you know what they say, no pain, no gain, eh? <laughs> Hi, I'm Veronica with WatchMojo.com, and today we're taking a look at different ways to soothe sore muscles and understanding why a little bit of discomfort isn't necessarily a bad thing. Now, why is it that our muscles are sore after a workout? Basically, it's a response to an unusual stress to the muscle, unusual exertion. Uh, either change of volume of training or a new program and that will usually give you more soreness the next couple of days. Basically our muscles need to rebuild themselves and when they do that it takes up to two days after. So it could be one to two days after that you will feel soreness after your workout. Is it a good or bad sign if we're in so much pain? That delayed onset muscle soreness that happens is a good sign. You know, So you have to keep feeling that for a good period of time. But again, the body adapts. So when it adapts to whatever imposed demand you give to it, you're gonna to have to challenge it again to keep showing that progression and hopefully get what you want, which is your definition. So does that mean that we should be crawling out of each workout? You should feel a good soreness, uh, a good feeling that your muscles have worked, basically. If you come to the gym and you do three, four workouts a week and you feel like you can still keep going, you know, you should have to be able to take rest. Because remember, even like to get the results that everybody wants, which has the chiseled body or the great butt, whatever. Remember, it's three components, it's diet, rest, and exercise. Some people like to recover by doing stretches and stuff, or active recovery, like you know, the person behind me is running on a treadmill right now. After a workout, they'll go on a treadmill and just kind of loosen up the lactic acid, but that's not that soreness that happens two days later. They're just getting rid of the pump they feel right now. Is there a way to discern between the good and bad pain? See, the thing is, how do you define pain? Right? When you're in a gym and you say pain, we don't like to use the word pain because pain to us means real injury. A sharp pain, acute burning or sensation or a twist, you know, you made a movement, it's like, uh-oh, and then you can't do the movement anymore. That to me is pain, right? But muscle soreness is just the result of the exercises that you did the one to two days later where the muscle is like, feels like, oh my God, I really can't do the exercise right now that I did two days ago, but it's rebuilding itself. So you're still feeling it. So that's a good sign to say, okay, I'll wait another day and then maybe tomorrow I'll be able to train that muscle again. If the pain causes you to have to give up some workouts throughout the week, does this set back your progress? Even if you miss a workout or two, consistency is the key. And if you've been training for several months, several years, and you miss a week or two, look, I've even missed a month sometimes, you know, uh, vacation, holidays, whatnot. You don't lose it overnight. You know, it took you a long time to put it on, you're not going to lose it overnight. Is there anything you can do during your workout to make sure that you won't have excruciating pain afterwards? first thing you should do uh, before any training workout is a warm-up you know and if you do a proper warm-up specific to whatever you're gonna do while you're training you can actually go longer and go stronger if you don't have a proper warm-up you won't achieve what you want to achieve in that workout you might work through it and think oh I did have a good workout but I can guarantee you with a proper warm-up you'll actually exceed what you expected to do in those workouts a good warm-up should consist about sometimes anywhere between 10 to 15 minutes. Is there anything you can do to help alleviate the pain once it does hit you? Unfortunately, you gotta go through that. But, you know, again, once you do consistently do those kind of workouts, they're really intense workouts to change your body, your body adapts to it, so the pain will be less and less with each workout, up until a point where your muscles will be laughing at you, saying, bring it on, because, you know, it's not hurting me anymore. And when you get to that point, you really need to change your program. But, I mean, there's also other ways to help relieve that pain. Thermal circuit, that's always nice. I like to do that, you know, sauna, cold room, and relax for a bit. Uh, you also have massages. It does make a difference. So if you're not crawling out of a workout, you're probably not doing it right? In a few words, yeah. Let's face it, okay? If you haven't worked out hard, you may as well be at the coffee shop, okay? I mean, if you're gonna come in, you wanna work hard, you want results, you're gonna have to walk away thinking, whoa, what did I just go through and I survived it. Well, thank you so much for these tips. We can't wait to see the progress. You're welcome.